Graves and Deborah Weber drove three hours from Arkansas City, Kansas to Larned, Kansas to see their son graduate. Sean Weber. A proud moment watching Sean Weber walk across the stage, even though the stage is inside the Larned Correctional Mental Health Facility. Weber has been incarcerated since February of 2020 and has used his time to attain his GED and a work program certificate through the partnership between the Kansas Department of Corrections and Barton Community College. As soon as I can get out, I am going to continue and try to con uh, get into college and get greater degrees in electricity and stuff like that. Dad, how about this? I'm proud of him. He's doing good. Not the place I want him to be, but He's doing good here. Isaiah Butler has received the Lee Turner Scholarship. <laughs> Terry Adams has received the Mel and Darnell Holopiric Educational Scholarship. In all, 71 names of graduates were called to receive their diplomas, program certificates, and or scholarships on this day. Because of COVID restrictions, this is the first graduation ceremony in three years. So some residents donned their cap and gowns, others had already gone home. But administrators say it's important to have these celebrations, if for anything, to send a message of hope to staff and residents. It's good to have activities, events that show the positive show the positive not only to the staff that work here so that they recognize that they're they're doing something right um, but to show the resident population um, you have the ones that you know have, have made the accomplishment but you've also got the residents that are seeing their peers um, doing things um, productive and making a change in their life I feel that without this opportunity my journey while incarcerated would have probably turned out a lot differently that much I am sure this experience has given me the courage to try new things, to look forward to the challenge and embrace it. It has also been the extra motivator that I have needed to keep myself on the right path. This experience has given me hope, the hope that who I was yesterday is who I'll have to be tomorrow. That I and myself alone have the power to change the trajectory of my destiny. That all I needed was the right opportunity and a few good people who believed in me. So for the teachers and administration at Barton Community College, I want to thank you. For most staff members of Barton Community College, they say working with residents of KDOC, there is a deeper connection, perhaps because of the possible stories of redemption they are helping to write. We know the success is not going to be for everyone, but there are so many success stories. And when they do reach back to us and they tell us they've relocated and they have found employment and they're reconnected with their families and they're, they're buying houses, we've heard them buying these things. It is, just, it is just proof in the pudding that while many things, almost everything is taken away from you when you go to prison as it should be, what is not taken away is if you choose to educate yourself that is yours. It is yours to do with what you will choose, but it is yours. And when people get all hung up about power in this world, education is the power. And then what you do with it and how you share it and contribute with it. It's just, I've been in my career for 38 years with Barton Community College, and I have a lot of highs, but working with the correctional facilities and their residents and the staff it's beyond words.